Hello again. Welcome to another drainage sales tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at soakaway crates. Now in the old days, if you were going to build a soakaway, what you would do, or what your builder would do, was dig a deep hole and fill it with basically the rubbish from the building site. So it would be broken bricks, blocks, hardcore, and quite honestly, just about any old rubbish that he could find to throw in there. Environmentally, a bit of a nightmare because if there was contamination in there, old paint pots, things like that, and that did happen, then obviously not very good for your soil. Mechanically, it didn't work either because in a very short period of time, the actual hardcore and the gaps between the bricks and blocks would fill up with soil and the thing wouldn't work. It wouldn't actually soak away. So what we have now are modular water cells or soak away crates. Now, the reason they're called soak away crates is they look like the old fashioned milk crates. If you're old enough to remember those, I certainly am. These come in various shapes and sizes. At drainage sales, the ones that we sell most are one metre square by 333 deep. If I hold that up, you can see. There we go, so it's one metre by one metre by 333. Now the reason for that is when you put three together, that makes one cubic metre, which is a very popular size for a building inspector to specify as a soak away. And one cubic metre of soak away crates will drain a roof area of around about 50 square metres and will actually hold 1,000 litres of rainwater, which is a lot of rainwater. To bring your pipes into the side of the soak away, you would generally use a 110 mil underground drainage pipe and there's knockouts at either end. So one there, one there, one there, one there, and all the way around. So lots of flexibility as to where the pipe enters. And I'll just hold it a little bit closer to the camera. There you go, you can actually see the knockouts a little bit better there. These are really strong as well. We sell two types, 20 ton and 40 ton. 20 ton is perfect for domestic, that can go under your driveway, no problem, although most people have them in the garden. And 40 ton is really for commercial use, perhaps in a car park, something like that. When you excavate the hole, for a one cubic meter, which is the kit that we sell most of, you actually excavate a, a slightly larger hole than that because you need to allow for backfill and side fill. Now, we suggest 1.2 by 1.2 by 1.6 deep, and that gives you four inches or 100 mil all round of side fill, four inches underneath of sharp sand, four inches, another 100 mil of pea gravel on top of that, and then your soil that you excavated and your turf. In terms of the material around, we say uh, pea shingle, which is three quarter gravel, three quarters of an inch gravel. The crates themselves are held together with clips. There we go, it's just a double clip, and it pops on like that, and the next one then sits on top of that, and that clip sits in the hole of the next crate, and it holds them together. They're not structurally doing anything other than holding it in place whilst you backfill, because it is the backfill around the excavation that actually um, gives it its structural stability. They're really flexible. That's the great thing about soakaway crates. You don't have to have them like this. Most people do have a one cubic meter, but if you had a larger area or, or perhaps you wanted to um, build them into a different area, you can actually put them side by side. The only way you don't have them is with the, let me show you, that way around so that the 333 is on its edge because all of the strength is horizontal. So you always have them stacked on top of each other or in a, on a single level side by side. When you put these into the excavation, you wrap them in geotextile membrane. I'll show you a little bit there. It's a permeable membrane brilliant stuff it allows rainwater to go through but it stops any soil particles from going through so it always maintains the integrity of the gaps in the crate inside so you just wrap it like that you wrap every face so the bottom the sides and the top and obviously where your pipe goes in make sure that's wrapped neatly around there and you can tape it in place to hold it but again once the back fills in there that will hold it all together anyway our Soakaway kits come with sufficient geotextile membrane to uh, wrap every outward face, as I've said. I think that's probably all you need to know about Soakaway crates. If you do have any more questions, feel free to visit the website, www 
www.drainagetales.co.uk. You can contact us via the contact page there, either by email or phone, and we'll be pleased to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.